welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I thought I'd make a little video on Nero, Nero video. I have Nero Platinum uh, 2016 edition and this is a software I use to compile videos. Um, you may or may not have seen them. Um, I do have other software I use. Sometimes I can use Camtasia if it's short clips and they're not too uh, much editing you done, but sometimes you want just a little bit more from your video software and so this is my video of choice uh, The software of choice. It's Nero video. So I've got a couple of bits of video here And I'm gonna quickly play it all the way through the first wee bit Now let's say uh, undo that and undo is the same as in most Windows applications, Control and Z, I uh, will undo. First, you need to get your video into your uh, system. So you'll take it from your SD card on your video camera or however else you're recording it, even this uh, application I'm recording it now. So get your video into the computer. And you can either drag and drop from an open folder where your videos are stored, just drag this stuff over to here and it'll sort itself out into videos, pictures or audio. Um, if your video clip has audio in it, record it straight on it, it'll come into here. If you record the audio separate, maybe a narration, um, you can import that as a WAV file and it will come into the audio. Um, this version has some audio already in there. Um, for instance, we'll just play one wee quick bit, or you can't play it like that. Um, no worries, we'll play it in a second. I've got some of my own audio that I import, and it's just a little... Oops, let's play it. And realistically, Realistically, that's just mood, mood music that I'll use on different videos, depending on what I'm to show. You can have inspirational music, you can have funny music, you can have, as I say, you can uh, make a narration, a voice narration, and just import the WAV file, and it will sit here. It doesn't matter if it's an MP4 or it's an MP3, and, and I've got software where I can take, in fact, we can do it through Nero Palatinum, I can separate the, the, the audio um, so even if I've recorded the video and the audio is in the video, when I bring it in here, I can separate it and, and we can work with the audio separate to the video if we need to. If it's maybe a bit noisy in the background and we want to do other stuff and say something like Adobe Audition, for instance. So so that's how you do it. So anyway, to get your stuff in, you can either drag and drop into this kind of palette, if you like, or your, your media palette, or you can come here and import it. Now, if we import... You get different things that you can, if you wanted to come straight for your camera, for instance, or from a disc, or if you wanted to capture it, you would start um, a voice recording or a webcam recording straight away, or import from file, which is what I did here. I have these bits of video in this folder here, uh, so we'll just cancel that. I've already imported them. So once you've got your video, audio, or pictures into Nero, you then want to put what you want on the timeline. Now, I've got two bits of video here, and I've got a bit of audio here. Now, my audio is this. And that's all the audio. And the video is this. Now, I'll put both bits onto the timeline. So if you want to put multiple items on your timeline, similar controls to normal windows, just hold the control key down and click each bit that you want. This is just a sample. I'm not going to put that on. And you'll know when it's selected, it has a little cross in the corner. So I'll click that again to unselect it. So I've got these two bits here. I'm just going to drag them down into video one. Uh, not clear why video one below video two. You, you can also add other tracks if you wanted, if you want to have lots of different bits on lots of different um, timelines. So we'll press play on this and we'll just quickly play it through. Now, most video, especially the vlog type video, is staged. It, it's not all natural. The camera just didn't happen to be recording as I walked into the kitchen. It's staged. I've set the camera up to record specifically. So we'll do this again. And 
the, the, a little lesson here. I didn't record. I didn't have my mic turned on on the camera. I've got an external mic and I didn't have it turned on. So this first little bit of footage, we're actually going to delete it, but I'm going to just let it play for now. Wow, it's not so late. It's now quarter to eleven, and I'm quarter to eleven, and that's me just out of bed. So, um, we have the gas man coming soon, so I better go get dressed. And I don't suppose he wants to come in and see me in my PJs, so. Let's get dressed. Right, so pretty much that's where I'm going to cut this video off. But there was a little bit at the start that I'm going to get ready first. So let's, let's, there's a couple of ways you can edit videos. Now, if I've got both bits selected and I double click, I'm going to have a big, long timeline of editing. I don't want to do all that. I'm going to just highlight one, one of these files. And you can right click and trim. And if I go to trim, it's the exact same space. This is the trim window, if you like, the cutting floor. Um, but I can also, if I if I go right back to the start of this video, the difference between trimming and cutting, if I cut something from the video, I'm going to lose it. I'm, I'm just cutting it, and then I'm going to delete it, and then that's it. I'm not going to have to work with that bit of footage again. If I trim the video, I'm still keeping all the video but what you're seeing on the playback is the trimmed part, the part that I want you to see. All the file is still there before and after the trim marks, the mark in and mark out as we call it. It's all there and if I want to go back and retrim it and, and make a, a slightly longer or shorter bit of footage, I've still got the whole original file to work with. What I've not when I use the cutting tool is I'm going to lose that footage forever um, or from this playhead. So if we just play this again, now I'm in the kitchen here um, and I'm staging it. So I'm staging it from here. Okay, so that's where I can see myself. That's where I want to cut this. Now I wouldn't trim that because that 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 information that's on the if we open this back up here again and do the exact same. So I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here, and I'm here. And so this five, six, seven, eight, nine seconds worth of footage. I'll never ever use it again. Now I can trim it, and to trim it, all I do is move this back up to where the nine seconds was, which is about there. It's actually not even there. It's, uh, we can see exactly where it is. We can move it to there, just beyond that. And let's take that head along here. So it's just about there. And that's roughly about where I would be trimming that from. I'm not going to trim it there because I'm never ever going to work with that bit of footage there again. So I'm just going to get come along to the right hand side here and where you see the bit of scissors, left click on the scissors. That's him now active. Now you have to be careful now because anytime you click you're going to going to make a cut. I'm not clicking, I'm just dragging along. And I never ever use a preview at the top, but just drag along, drag along, and you can drag along till you're right on top of the, the, the scissors if you like. And this is going to cut the video and the audio in two. So I'm just going to cut now. And when you've cut, come back over to the right hand side and choose your selection tool, cause it a standard tool, but if you just left click, that's got that. So now if I click on that, I'm not going to cause any more damage. So I'm just going to make the timeline a little bit bigger to make sure I get rid of the right part. You can either use the plus and minus down here, the plus or the minus, or use a control key on your keyboard and the scroll key on your mouse. And you can just turn on the scroll key by holding the control key down and turning the scroll key, you can zoom in or out. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this here. Now, my video and audio are as one. If they were separate, and sometimes I'll separate them before I do any editing, um, it's a, if I want to enhance voice or take out some hissing that the camera's picked up or maybe increase or decrease the tone of the voice, etc., I'll separate the audio and video and work on that separate. Um, you can unlike your video and your audio. I'm not going to do that for this track. It's such a small piece that we're going to be dealing with. So 
we'll just leave that as is. And you can either just right click, remove from track, remove from track and close gap or hit the delete key on your keyboard. If I remove from track and close a gap, it will take everything to the right and bring it all along. So I maybe have 20 different small clips that I've stitched together. It will move them all along and just close the gap. So whatever's to the left of here, the bit I'm going to be deleting, and whatever's to the right will be joined together. It'll, it'll close the gap. So um, because I have nothing to the left, when it closes the gap, it's just going to put everything to the right along to uh, the start of the video. So I'm going to remove from track and close gap. And, and that's me got that right back to the start. Now, if I hit the, the stop key on the, 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 the sort of play controls, if I hit the stop, it'll take the playhead right back to the very start. So let's play it again from there. Wow, it's like so late. It's now quarter. Now, rather than me play that whole clip again for you, I'm just going to make the timeline a little smaller. And, and we're going to double click on this one here. And I'm not going to bother playing the whole thing again. But we're going to go, and it's roughly about 30 seconds, so I'm just going to bring the playhead along because I know roughly where this is. It's around about the 30 second mark. And what I want to do is keep it, um, keep the footage where I click my fingers. Now, if you want to move the playhead quickly without dragging it, if you, say for instance, I want you to bring it to here at 15 seconds, I just left click in this grey section here, and the playhead will come along. Um, so I think it's maybe about 27 or 28 we have the gas man coming soon, so I better go get dressed. And I don't suppose he wants to come in and see me in my PJs, so let's get dressed. So that's right where I want to cut it roughly, but where the playhead is right now, it's at 34 seconds. So bring it along to 34 seconds. And it tells you here it's 34 seconds. So it's an annoying little thing that uh, Nero does. It puts a playhead edit it way back to the start when you do that. I don't know why, but if you click one of these outer um, jump to sections, it will jump to the next edit. Well, the next edit from the start is to here. So let's just do that. Click to jump to there. Oh, let's jump to, jump to here. Jump to there. We jump to there. So we want to see if we caught that click. In the first instance, if we caught the click inside of where I want it. So we were, I've actually did two clicks, I think. So let's start this again. See me in my PJs, so let's get dressed. Right, so that's nicely inside of here. And I'm just going to move it back just a little, just a little. So I'm not looking down at my feet. Bring the playhead back just that little bit as well. We'll do that again. Let's get dressed. Now, if I'm not sure, did I catch that inside or outside, what I can do now is just click OK. And because we've not cut that video, I can go back and edit. So we're just going to go right to pretty much near it there. I don't need to play it all again. Let's get dressed. So, perfect. That's caught that inside exactly where I want it. So now we're going to work on the second clip. Now, again, to move, you just left click and drag across. And that's it. Highlight your click by highlight your highlight your bit of footage by clicking on it, and then click again and just hold it, and you can drag that to wherever you need it on the playhead. So we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to left click now. I'll move that playhead away from there. Now, if you watch when I join, when I I'm left clicking and dragging this, and it's bringing the footage along, you'll see a little white markers appear and that's just showing you that the audio it's been recorded in stereo so there's there's two audios if you like but it's showing you that the stereo sorry it's showing you that the clips are joined there's there's a white clip on either side 
So let's make it even bigger, just to make sure you can see what I'm going on about. And if you look for the little white marks here, and now if we just go along, 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 that's it joined one part, but I actually need it to join both sides. So, and there, you see now we've got a little white marker on either side, either bit of footage, and that's it perfectly joined. So let's uh, go back to where that joint is and play from there. And I'll bring the playhead down a little bit, just could hold the control and scroll on down with the mouse. So we've done our click. Best. And this is a good tip here. I'm recording on my DSLR, but I've actually run out of battery on my onboard mic. And I'm chatting away and oblivious to that. And then a good tip is go and check your footage because if I hadn't checked the footage and I just assumed, I would have brought the footage into the Nero and thought I could work it. But there's actually no audio on the second part. So I'm quickly changing the battery on the mic. Um, and then we've got the mic turned on. So, well, again, we're never going to use that bit of footage. So let's just go back to before I come into here. Um, we're not even going to use that footage, so let's go to about there just now. And we're just going to get rid of this big chunk. The less you've got to on your timeline, the better. So we'll highlight that. And again, I'm going to close this gap. So let's right click, remove from track and close gap. And it's perfectly joined there. Now I'm going to edit that further. So we're... It doesn't really matter too much about that. Those boys wants to come in and see me in my PJs, so let's get dressed. Now, the transition from one to the other isn't really great, so we'll go on a little bit further. Boom. That's where I want to keep it from. So we can either cut again, but because it might not be just perfectly where I want it, I'm just going to double click and we're going to play that to. There, boom. That's where I want it. So it's uh, 1.04 seconds. Take it to there. And we'll go with that. And bring the playhead along. And we'll play it from there. And that looks fine. Now we're changed. So wait just now, I'm not quite. Now we're changed. So the one at, at now we're changed. Now we're. I think we'll leave we're it changed. there just now. Let's go do it. Uh, oh, right there. That's where I want it to finish. And and we're on uh, 40. One, two, three and a half seconds. 43 and a half seconds. Because when I click here, that's going to disappear. 43, go with that, try that. Not to mark anything else in. Um, so let's uh, go back to this little bit here and we'll just see. Now we're changed. Let's go do it. And I'm quite happy with that. I think probably bring the playhead there. And by using that there, it'll, it moved it to exactly where I wanted it to. So we'll go back again. Play this again. Now we're changed. Let's go do it. And that's fine. So we're quite happy with that. We click OK. And we'll just come back to about 20 seconds, 25 seconds. Let's, let's just drag it along. We can drag it to wherever we want it. So let's go see what this looks like now. Let's get dressed. Now we're changed. Let's go do it. Now, I quite like that. It could be doing with just one other bit. Now remember, you're going to be doing this as part of a big video. Um, this is just a little demonstration video. One other bit of audio might help this. And I've got a file here. Now, I, I get these files from Free, free Sounds. Um, I don't think I've got it open, but let's just see audio files, uh, sound effects. SoundCloud, it's not SoundCloud, uh, sound effects, 
S O U N D E F F E C T X. Sound effects, free sound. That's the site there. Um, they've got all manner of sound. You can upload sounds as yourself. You make sounds, upload them. Uh, that's my username, so I'm not going to do too much. But I wanted a whoosh, so let's go W H O O S H and search. And you can listen to it here. And that's what I wanted, or you could have a different one. But it's a great site. Uh, slower one, that one, too slow. Too long. You, you get the idea. If you're doing a much slower transition, and it fitted with your video, but this is the one I went for. I thought this is great. Once you've registered, you can download these sounds. Um, I say they're WAV files, and then when you've got them down on your computer, rename them for your own purposes. Um, I've called mine Whoosh. I think it's appropriate to what I want. Now I'm going to make the playhead a little bit bigger. And I'm going to drag the file from here. We're in the audio section. I'm going to drag the file from here onto the audio part of my timeline. And that's just a guess where I want it to start. So let's see where that goes. No. Not too bad. Try that again. No. So let's do that a little bit more. Uh, go back to just about here. Best. Right, so I want it back just a little bit. Maybe put back just to the 27 seconds. Right to there. Get dressed. Brilliant. That's exactly where I want it. So, once we've done that, you're happy with your, your clip. Now we're changed. Let's go do it. Just get rid of the Canon email. So, once you're happy with your sound, um, again, what you go back straight to the the, the the start of the video we can click stop and i'll go right to the very start timeline's too big again we can use a plus or minus i'll just use a minus here several clicks to break it down and we've now made our 40 second video so gonna get full screen so to play it full screen come up to this middle symbol here and you've got different options pop out player etc we'll just go full screen play controls are here and here's the finished article. Wow, I slept so late. It's now quarter to 11 in the morning. Quarter to 11, and that's me just out of bed. So, um, we have the gas man coming soon, so I better go get dressed. And I don't suppose he wants to come in and see me in my PJs, so let's get dressed. Now we're changed. Let's go do it. <laughs> so there, you see it. Um, Nero video for small edits. Great. There's Premiere and Adobe. Um, for me, and the amount of video I make, it doesn't justify my personal means. That may be a better option for you, but you could do quite a lot here. Um, there's also a special effects palette. As I'm going to make more videos um, to introduce some of that, so we'll I mean, there is quite a lot of them. Um, each section has lots. You know, there there's lots. Um, and same with the audio, we can do stuff with the audio as well. We can edit the audio in here. I prefer to take the audio out of here and do it in um, Adobe Audition. But so there you go. Um, Nero 2016 Platinum. How to make your little videos a little bit more interesting. Thanks for watching. If you like this, click the subscribe button. Oh, how do you do with your Let's do this whoosh noise. Right, we're back to this. So now what do you do with your file? You made your video, you're happy with that. If you come down here at the bottom, we'll get this effect, but we don't need to see all that rubbish just now. We'll close that down. If you come down to the right hand corner, you've got the next. So if we click on the next, We've got options now. If I wanted to put that on a disc, if I was making a video 
full length feature video and I wanted to create it to a, a DVD, here's our options. Uh, and you can do with uh, an editable DVD on a DVD recordable, uh, rewritable, sorry, a DVD video, and we can create all sorts of uh, chapters and stuff like that. We'll do that in, in a future one. But we're just going to edit, uh, sorry, export this file. We're going to expect just to what they say the video. We'll say yes. And I've got this little one I did earlier on. So I'm just going to save over the top of that. Say, yep, that's fine. And this is a, I'm not wanting it to be a, a, a DVD format. I'm going to have it as an MPEG-4. And the MPEG-4 is good. So that means I can put that on YouTube afterwards. So MPEG-4 and let's click on the export. Give it a name first, click on the browse. Um, this is a test transition because that's why I've just made a transition from one video into the next. Now, there's other transitions. Again, as future videos come, we'll show you how to use them. But for this purpose here, we're just going to hit save. Yep, I do want to save over the top of that one. And we'll click yes. And at that point, all I've done is named the file to actually finish the process. I click export. And it's a 40 second video. And as I've got quite, if we quickly go into here, right click properties, You'll see I've got quite a good uh, system here, 16 gigabyte. Um, I've got NVIDIA graphics, quad core, and it'll still take to make that 40 second video, um, probably a minute in total. If I was doing this in 4K, it would take much longer. Um, I have a second, I've got a laptop and I do the 4K editing on the laptop and then I'll, I'll save it as an MP4 and bring it in here and do any further editing I need in here. Uh, maybe for adding titles or or, or credits on your video. But the, for small edits, and, and small, I've, I've made 20 minute videos using this. Absolutely no problem. Hand, my computer handles it quite well. Uh, but if you Editing video, I'm assuming your computer has got the, the necessary capacity. So we're almost finished. You'll hear the, that tells us it's finished. Click OK. So let's go find that file. So it was in uh, Derek. It's in my videos, my videos. It's in my Toots folder, Derek Toots. And here's the video from start to finish on. Wow, it's not so late. It's now quarter to 11 in the morning. Quarter to 11, and that's me just out of bed. So, um, we have the gas man coming soon, so I better go get dressed. And I don't suppose he wants to come in and see me in my PJs, so let's get dressed. Now we're changed. Let's go do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so easily amused. I enjoy these little things. So that's how you make your video that little bit more interesting. Thanks for watching. If you like this and if you do use Nero and you want to learn more, click and subscribe and you'll be updated whenever I update a new video. I'm Derek. Thanks for watching. Bye.